Hey, it's Sean here from P2R. Today I'm back with you with this Honda J35Z2 engine that we were working on last week. We're gonna go ahead and get this engine finished up, timing belt, um, all the components installed, so this engine is ready to go and ready to ship. All right, so the first thing I wanna do here is get on the crank gear with the keyway. Once that's on and in place, I'm gonna go ahead and get the idler pulley and all the other timing components installed. Here we got the P2R uh, billet manual tensioner and then we have the actual idle or pulley here. All this goes on pretty easy. So of course we wanna go ahead and get the both cylinder heads and the block at TDC, and then we'll get the timing belt installed. Here I'm using the Gates Racing Blue timing belt. Once it's on, I have here is the guide for the belt. I guess this kinda helps keep the belt in place. It's actually a neat little thing that Honda put on here. It's not available on the older J-Series motors. So we get the side mount bracket here that I'm putting on. This has to go on before we can actually put the plastic kind of cover on. So we're using a factory a brand new OEM lower time belt cover. It has a groove that you need to get it locked into place. And then I have here our titanium hardware that we offer. Uh, they're really nice looking. We offer these in silver. We also have like a neochrome colorful uh, burnt look for them as well too. For the guys who have a color. So I'm basically gonna tighten these all up a little bit. Um, I like to tighten it all up. Um, you could actually keep them a little bit loose as well and then get the ones for the heads on in place. But I like to just get it all cinched up and then move on to the timing covers. So these are our P2R red um, see-through transparent timing covers. They come with brand new um, Honda seals. So we'll go ahead and get those seals installed here. These covers are available in red, black, and gold. It's kind of a yellow gold color. All of them are pretty much the same thing though. They're translucent or transparent that you can see through and see your timing belt and your cam gears moving when the engine's running. I think it's a really cool feature besides just the uh, visuals at all, like just be beyond look. I think it's really nice to have, where well, you can always see the status of your time belt. You can always see if it's flopping or not flopping. You can see if your motor's in time pretty easily. And up here, the same thing, I'm using our titanium hardware. Just gives it a nice little extra touch that looks great. So it's gonna go ahead and get these things tightened up. All right, and we're essentially gonna do the same thing on the front cylinder head. Now, the, these have a groove in the bottom that you have to slide it over the lower timing cover. And that's what allows you to fit it into place properly. Once you do that, you'll be able to line up the top bolts to get, the, get this in place. Just like I did on the rear head, I'm just gonna go ahead and get all, the, all of them started by hand first before I use any gun or anything like that. That way I don't make sure I'm not stripping any threads. And these are kind of a shoulder bolt, so it actually self-aligns the timing cover once they're all in place. That's why I like to put them all in place, keep them all loose. Just centers it all up squared, and then I go ahead and get them all tight. Tighten. So 
So this is the inspection hole. Essentially, um, we're using it mostly as a dust cover because um, the belt or the covers are transparent already so we can see through the whole time. But we're gonna go ahead and put it on to protect it from any dust. All right, so there you have it. This engine is all wrapped up and ready to go. The customer already has their own valve covers and spark plugs they're gonna put on this. Outside of that, it's a complete lawn block, ready to drop in a car. I'll see you guys again soon.